guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Tomb Raider Underworld. And before I can explain everything, enjoy the cutscene. The characters are Vedic Sanskrit. They're severely weathered. Bhagavati of the Seventh. It must be referring to the capital of Patala, the lowest infernal world in Hindu tradition. It's a netherworld populated by snake people, although the enlightened one, Narada, spoke rather fondly of it. Shiva on top, and his mistress Kali is down below. Alright, welcome back again. This is part two of Coastal Thailand. This is uh, Bogavati. I have no idea how you pronounce that, but yeah. I just said it somehow. <clears throat> okay, and the clue about this whole level is... You can see those two statues with the, fe with the fence, and yeah. Kali and what was his? Uh, I forgot it. Well, just those two statues. <laughs> I'm horrible. My, my memory is horrible at the moment. Yeah. Anyway, and yeah, as you may have guessed, there is a riddle to solve, or yeah, a little task that involves the uh, all all these four things: the statues plus the um. The fan girls, I call them fan girls. Yeah. Anyway, by pulling by pulling that lever, we um, we actually lower um, his hand. Damn it! Why did I forget his name? Well, yeah. And over here we find a what's this? I think a gem. I, I call it gem. You find this gem here, and. Yeah, it is actually not that hard to find out what you have to do now with this gem. Really not. Okay, maybe the first time you're playing this, you will think, yeah, and now? At least I thought that. But yeah, let's place the gem here now. <laughs> with the helper buttons. It is actually not really a riddle anymore. I mean, the helper, bu helper buttons tell me anyway what I have to do. <laughs> but yeah, after you have placed the gem in his hand, don't forget to pull the lever again because we need his hands up. You know, in my practice run, I actually forgot to um, raise his hand again and... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now a ray of light appeared. And yeah, it is not hard to figure out what you have to do with that ray of light either, I mean, those two girls holding the fence, is it possible that I will somehow have to reflect the whole thing? <sighs> we will find out, we will find out. And yeah, back here we find the fourth treasure of coastal Thailand. Ooh, I have no idea how Lara does that, but it always looks cool. It happens by luck. Okay, and the same we have to do um, here on the other side. If you don't find the treasure, there is actually um, down on the ground. There is um, there are some more stairs that lead up here, so it is no problem. Yeah, if you find the treasure, you're actually up here much much quicker, which is pretty cool. Okay, then just do the whole thing again. <coughs> Lower, place gem, rise again, and that's the whole thing. Really not that difficult, I have to say. You know, in the older to Tomb Raider games are like stuck in one room for 10 years. <laughs> and here, <laughs> it takes 10 minutes or even less um, to figure something out. The only thing that, that that could make you stuck in a room for 10 years is the controls because they annoy me. I will write a complaint letter. No, just kidding. Hmm, but no. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I need to deal with this. You know, I'm not a big fan of um, the analog stick anyway, so I think I've already mentioned that 10 million times, but it's just because it's the truth, really. The D-pad is still the best thing to steer um, a character. 
Okay, mysterious music tells us that we actually have solved the riddle. Almost. 70%. <laughs> Still 30% to go and to be honest, this could become a little bit complicated, you know, um, putting those fangirls the right way because, yeah, you will see. It can be pretty annoying. But first we will run down this long, boring corridor. Oh, and I'm already out, I just realized. <laughs> I just want to run to the other side. But yeah, anyway, we somehow need to make those fans touch the ray of light. And as you can see, we somehow it, they somehow need to change um, direction the fans. You know, at the moment they're showing um, inside, but they actually we actually need them to um, show outside. So this is how you do it. You just put it about here and then push it over here. Let's find out if that works. Because I have no idea, to be honest. And uh, Come on, Lara. You're so lame. Okay, it doesn't touch this ray of light, it seems. So I guess I have to move it to the other side. If Lara would do it. You know, this is so annoying, seriously. Come on. Okay, Lara, I, I can also... Yeah, thank you. Oh. Missed somehow. Okay. Made it here. Now this statue. And... Mm. No, wait. I want to move it. Come on, Lara. Thanks. You know, the camera angle is a little bit um, annoying and I just realized that I need to um, put that statue away first because otherwise... No! Yeah, because otherwise we can't push the other uh, towards it. Eh, no, whatever, you know what I mean. Or you will see what I mean. <laughs> Today is actually a really, really hot day outside again and there is nothing better to do than stay on stay in the inside and game all day long, seriously. It's unbearable. Yay! I made it. Okay. Now just this one and the pain is over. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Ah, ha, ha. All right. And this opened a secret way right under her head. And another great thing, and un I, I just mean another uneventful corridor. We get to see enough of them here, and ah yeah, this is actually pretty cool. If you uh, step on the platform here, the room will like turn itself and these little, what are these? Reptiles will appear, and they're actually pretty, woo! Make sure that, you, that you're not close to them, because as you can see, they spit um, poison at you, and yeah, this could, this could harm Lara. They actually remind me of those... Um, there is also an enemy in Silent Hill that spits um, poison at you, but it's more human looking. And I thought there was another one around here, but yeah, I guess I was wrong. Okay, and this level is done as well because soon we will hit against another door and yeah, you will get to see in the next video what this door is all about because it's a really special one. And what has the Lara to say about the architecture? It's similar to the Niflheim ruins. Interesting, really interesting. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that door. 
is right. Um, we should be here soon. Now, this door over there. And yeah, you will get this in the next video. What's it all about? Until then, thanks for watching. Cheers.